for goal, what we're going to do on this next one is actually place in the item for it. So if you put in a new goal, we'll just start fresh here. Um, we'll do a goal and then be sure to place in a block right here. So we'll have a block and this is just going to represent our, our item that we would pick up to say that the goal is complete. Um, for the uh, goal, if we click and go to properties here, the target brush, we're going to use this one for the block that's going to represent the uh, connection for it so it knows that it needs to have that uh, item either entered and stayed entered or entered and uh, uh, if you exit it, we'll, we'll look at this in a second, um, you can also disable. So we're going to have this one collect, uh, clicked on. The goal setting, we're going to go to item. Now remember you can have all three selected but we're going to do those just one at a time for now. So we're going to say that the moment all items are collected, these items, uh, then we'll switch the level and uh, the goal will be met and it'll be complete so we'll say that one's on there and then just double check on the uh, manager for the world level transition enables on load level scene and we'll make sure that we're going to load level ID number one alright so with those in and it'll delay for that two and a half seconds those in what we're going to do is click on the block so the good thing about this setup is that um, on the block object, whether whatever kind of object it might be, uh, it actually, this is what's going to tell the, uh, the target brush that it's actually been selected, which means you have all the features available of the object's trigger state. So you could say, for instance, we can enable the trigger, but we could have unlimited, we could have the repeat, the player, the type that triggers it. Um, but you could also have the activator, so you could say maybe you're, you walk over and you actually have to pick it up so you interact with it and push a button to do it that way. Um, we'll just do the trigger on this one by itself. And then the trigger state on the trigger states, currently it's on enter off exit. We're going to say once you've walked on it, it's going to stay on. However, you could do it where you say if you walk off of it, you actually turn it back off, meaning that you have to collect all of them and hold all of them at the same time. Um, so we'll do it this way to start with and then let's go ahead and uh, make sure last thing is your collider on the block is turned off that way when you walk through it you can actually trigger the object alright so if we go here what should happen then is that we have the item and we can actually walk across the item to get that one and that'll actually trigger the the end result for the goal so I'm going to walk over to this one so two and a half seconds later then we actually have it come up and it transitions us to the next one. So let's go ahead and go back right here. So just a uh, quick extra example on this one is that we could use the eyedropper brush, create um, a couple more uh, items. So if, say for instance to beat the, the, the level, the goal, you had to have three items that you picked up. Um, or three items in our case that we just walked past. So at this point, then if I was to get this one, grab this one, and get that one, now I've actually got all three of them, which allows me to go to the next scene. Alright, so that's going to be item setup for it, and just kind of a basic look at, into it.